Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, tribe. I just woke up. Um, I'm in my tent right now. It's where I sleep at. Um, so I just woke up, and I just did my um, um, chant meditation. And as I sat here, this information came into me yesterday, but it really hit me yet. It really hit me today. When I was doing my meditation, it really hit me today. So yesterday it hit me, but today it really hit me in the middle of the meditation. Um, so a lot of you guys all know that Dr. Sebi had transitioned. And there's a lot of, uh, excuse me, I just woke up, so I probably got sleep all in my eye. There's a lot of uh, speculations on, you know, what happened to his death. Um, you know, uh, he got killed, somebody murdered him, da 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 there's so much distraction to figure out what happened to his death that we don't even see the positive the positive effect of his transition because he's not dead. Stop getting all frustrated. There you go, putting your energy to stuff again. Frustrated. Why they killed Dr. Savior? Why this? Why that? Distraction once again. We don't truly know what happened to Dr. Savior. Maybe there is some friends that do. And if you do, good. But my message here to you upon meditation from Sebi was that Dr. Sebi transitioned at an important time. We all know August is a month to cleanse. We all know that the Lion's Gate is open from the 8th to the 12th. So with that being said, Dr. Sebi transitioned in his energy went into the ethers to clean us. He ain't gone. He's still doing the work. He's participating in this cleanse for August. That's what he's doing. He's participating. His energy has went into the ethers to help us heal through this transition of August and many times after that. I think Dr. Sebi transitioned on the 6th. Don't quote me because I'm not all in it like some other people are. But I think he transitioned on the 6th. The Lion's Gate opened on the 8th. Do the math. I might be off a day or two, but do the math. Dr. Sebi transitioned at that time to help with the healing process, to help with these energies coming in. I had said yesterday, channel in Dr. Sabi. If you guys are going through um, ailments, and right now this raw food challenge is kicking your butt, call upon Dr. Sabi to heal you. For all you people in the physical that didn't get to meet Dr. Sabi and that didn't get to go to his village or didn't get to try his products, and you're all like, man, I didn't even get to see Dr. Sabi, and I wanted to see him, you still can see him, he's there. He is here in the metaphysical form. He can reach us and help us even more than what he could do in the physical. And even if he did, quote, unquote, get killed, you don't know that he is a divine soul, and he did don't you think he knew when he timed everything when the people was going to kill him, if they did kill him, or if he just passed the natural causes? We don't know. Stop assuming stuff. Stop getting all pissed off. Look at the po- look, at, look at the positive at it. He is transitioning. He is in the ethers. He is here to assist us in this cleansing process. We all know Dr. Sebi was a healer. Well, he's still healing. So don't get your panties all up in a bunch. Getting on mad. I seen somebody was like mad and frustrated because somebody called killed Dr. Sabi. There you go again. Harnessing that giving that energy away. Negative energy. Negative energy. <laughs> wow, you just gotta I mean negative energy, you guys. You can't fall for it. You can't fall for it. Stop falling for it. Look at stuff at positive views instead of negative views. It's like anytime something happens, something go beep, 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 negative. Instead of you going beep, 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 hmm, let's examine the situation. Let's see why. Let's see how. You got to start thinking like that. So 
I'm not going to make this long. Just got up. Like I said, still in my tent right now. Um, feeling beautiful. Feeling lovely. Just finished my meditation. Day four uh, raw food challenge. I'm about to hit the gym up. Um, have my hot lemon water with cayenne pepper and a little bit of turmeric if I have it. That's the way to start your day off, you guys. Get that hot water, lemon, and uh, cayenne pepper in you um, because it's really good with um, activating and, and starting the uh, digestive system in the morning. And the turmeric is also good with your joints and loosening them up, up the joints. Cayenne pepper is good for the blood, I think the heart, um, some other health benefits. But um, I definitely did want you guys to know that Dr. Sebi is good. Um, don't see his transition as anything negative. He's definitely transitioning at a right time. His energy is now in the ethers. He is now healing us as we speak. So if anybody's feeling down and anybody's feeling sick, channel in Dr. Sebi. Set your altars up. You know, if some of you guys have Dr. Sebi products, put some of your Dr. Sebi products on your on your altar. Even if it's an empty bottle, put it up there. Anything from to represent Dr. Sebi, put on your altar right now because this is the time to heal. August is the month to heal. So many manifestations and so many cleansing portals are opening up right now. So take advantage of this energy. Take advantage of this cleansing. Let Dr. Sebi heal you in the medical physical form. Okay? Because best believe, I, I never brought any of Dr. Sebi's products, but I'm going to try to find something that I can put on my altar so that it will aid me in this detoxification pro, uh, progress that we're going um, progress that we're going through um, this month of August, you guys. So stay strong. Keep eating them raw foods. Keep getting that sun because these light codes are coming through the sun and we have to be able to get them. Keep sun gazing with your first eye. We're not saying third eye anymore. That's a that's an understatement. This is the very first eye that developed in the womb when you're with your when you're in your mother's womb. So how could we call it the third when it was here before these two physical eyes? And physical eyes don't do anything. Physical eyes are just lenses that looks at an object. The object, which is really light, reflects back in, and it's all back here. You got a movie theater in the back of your head, and that's what the picture shows. So I'm not going to make this long because I, I just woke up. I had to get that um, out there with you guys because I just see so many people just harvesting negative energy, and for what reason? You know, what, what? why are you harvesting this negative energy? Start sitting down and examining yourself. Examine the situations that you're in before you react and be all sad about something that happened or upset. Sit down and ask yourself, why is this happening? What am I doing? How am I living my life? How am I treating myself? How am I treating others? Ask yourself these questions before you get all harassed. Okay, you guys? So I know some of you guys are just coming in and you missed the first half of what I said. Um, but definitely you can replay it back. I'm going to have it on YouTube. So that was just a little something that I had channeled in that, you know, Dr. Sebi has transitioned, but he is helping us behind scenes in the ethers to help us cleanse and purify during this month of August. But he's going to always be there. But he really transitioned at this time in August to aid in the pro the progress of us cleansing ourselves. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, keep that in mind, my family. And um, I'm about to get ready, drink my water, uh, go to the gym, and come back and sun gaze with my first eye. So help, um, wishing everybody a beautiful day. And although you may be in the matrix and your job sucks, let your physical body be in the job. You physically at that desk typing, but spiritually and mentally, you thinking about dragons and unicorns and different dimensions and portals and let your mind go there. And like I said, I had created a um a 
video about creating a deity. So let's just say you don't like your job because it's negative energy or, you know, you just don't like the people. Create your own deity to, you know, create a deity that makes your job environment good. He might be called or she might be called or it might be called um, good environment. I don't know. You know, get creative. It doesn't matter. You are the magician. You are the magician. And so um, I know I'm straying off the, 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 uh, the channel, but it's like we're all eating off the same plate with these deities. Everybody want Oshun. Everybody want Ogun. I'm not saying that the energy is not there when you're channeling in the Oshun and the Ogun because it's just you. But how about stop eating off the same plate of everybody and make your own entity? Because Oshu, no goon, and all of them is made up entities anyway. So make up your own entity. Why not? You know it's really that easy. Oshu, no goon, all of that is made up. It's it got a storyline. It's an entity. It's an energy. It's made up. Make up your own. Create your own reality. Create your own thing. All right, you guys. Love ya. Talk to you soon. Um, gonna be going live today around one o'clock about something really good, so you don't miss out on that one. This is Isis Love signing out. To later.